Hey Big Life Bible, I'm Josh. I'm Jess. Woody's sitting over there. We're the McTaggarts and we'd like to show you around our Armour X10 van. Let's do it. So here at the front, uh, one of the things I really like is a massive toolbox. So we've got all our essentials in there. There's a big nine kilo gas bottle, which we never seem to run out. Um, just spares over there for the car and the caravan, oil, nuts and bolts, all those sort of things. And we've got the 200 watt uh, fold out solar blanket if we need to extend for either the car to charge up or we have 400 watts on the roof as well. But if that's not enough, we can just plug it in to boost it. We've got just a generic annex here, which we can put around the 2.5 by 2.5 awning. Um, just if the weather's bad, we can enclose that area, make it a bit more private. Uh, we generally only use this if we're staying in one spot for a few days and it's not nice and sunny outside. One of the things we use to wash our clothes, a bit of a cost saving measure because it can add up pretty quick uh, at the caravan parks, paying about five bucks each wash. Just a trusty little 20 litre bucket from Bunnings. We chuck our clothes in here, a bit of soap, uh, fill it with water, and then when we're driving to the next destination, it just churns itself in the car. When we get there, we wring it out, hang them up, easy. So on either side of the toolbox, we've got um, jerry can holders. These were originally on the back kitchen door. There was a bit too much weight back there, so we decided to move them up here, uh, balance out the caravan a bit better. We've got 20 litres of spare water on this side and we've got 20 litres of diesel on the other. Coming around to the front door, or well, we've got two doors, one each side. We generally only use this one though, the other one just stays locked. Like most caravans these days, it's got the split, just the fly screen, which can be handy on a hot day. So one of our essential items is our muck mat down here. It's great for places like WA with red dirt everywhere or beach camping, you can just before you go inside, scrub your feet off. You don't carry everything inside, which is great. So in here, um, it normally is, I guess, a dinette with a table here and there's chairs around each side with cushions. Um, but to convert that every day is a bit of a pain. So we've actually never done that. We just leave it set up full time as a queen bed, which is pretty convenient. Um, a few things we added, just a little hook on this side with this pouch. We'll keep all our torches, phone, keys, and this mirror that Jazz hassled me for weeks. So she comes in here after every shower and does something in front of the mirror, I don't know. But she's happy with that. We used to keep uh, our clothes on either side of here under the chairs, um, but to open the bed and access those was a bit annoying. So we ended up just migrating our clothes out. I keep mine here in this cupboard, just in a box. That's pretty much all my stuff. Um, any of our winter clothes, when it's not that cold, we'll chuck them in this vacuum bag and normally put them underneath out of the way. One thing that surprised us when we bought this van was the first few nights camping in Queensland, we were eaten alive by mosquitoes inside and moths kept coming in. We didn't know how. We figured out there was a gap up here, which went out to the kitchen area. So they're all just flying in. Um, since we'd already started our trip, we just did a little quick easy fix, went to Bunnings and bought some mosquito net and we just taped it around up in here. It's been like that for three months now and we haven't had a bug in here since, which is good. A little creature comfort, which we like, is just the TV. Uh, it runs 12 volt and we have that through an HDMI cable, which can go into the iPad. So. If we ever hit some Wi-Fi or a caravan park, we normally load up with downloads and then if we're free camping and the weather's really bad or it's too cold or we've got no firewood to stay outside, uh, we can come in here and watch a little movie. It's nice and cozy. Uh, as standard on this van, comes with a little CD player and the Bluetooth and they have two speakers inside and two on the outside we've used a few times. Um, it's pretty handy, I guess. We also have the two 12 volt sockets and we have some adapters we use 
for the uh, USBs, just chuck them in there to charge the phones and whatnot. Storage behind here, we just keep all our cables and cards and games and all those sort of things just out of the way. In this cupboard over here, this is Jazz's skincare section, nicely organized. Uh, we put this rack in here just from Bunnings. It's one of the suction ones, so you don't glue or drill or anything like that. And that's been on some really rough roads and hasn't budged, so that's pretty good. Also underneath the chairs in here, uh, this side we have the AC-DC 240 volt charger and the solar charger from the panels on the roof to charge the batteries. And we have the 2000 watt inverter in here as well. And then on this side at the front where we sleep with our heads, uh, we have three 120 amp hour AGM deep cycle batteries. And the other side is just storage. We just keep a lot of spare food and stuff in there. Uh, when we're going free camping for a while, we can go to Coles and stock up with a lot of stuff. So, originally in this van, there's two more panels that go here, just like this one. And it's actually a double bed up the top. So, um, I guess if anyone has kids, it's perfect for them to sleep up there and the adults can stay down here. Or if you're really wanting to, you could keep that as a bed and then just keep this as a dinette area. But we decided instead of climbing up all the time, we just left this as the bed and we took these two platforms out, left them at home. And we left this one in here so we can just leave anything up here out of the way, like towels, jumpers, um, clothes and stuff like that. Jazz actually keeps her clothes up here most of the time now, since getting down underneath is a bit of a hassle and she's got these nice little organizer bags. Well, I think she got them from Daiso, the Japanese store on the Gold Coast. So up the front, we've just got a nice little window here, with just a privacy shade and screen. Um, if we're ever somewhere nice with a view, of course the toolbox would be down. Yeah, we can see out there, which is pretty good. It lets the sun in of a morning as well. And then of course, the, both sides have the zippers, which can come right down. Um, we use these lights most of the time. We've got two reading lights. So they're really good and they don't attract many bugs from outside trying to get in here which they can't and then we've also got these LEDs up the top two of them but they're really bright we used them for the first few days and then decided not to anymore we just used the bottom ones also if you really wanted to you can open this up and put out a sort of little awning uh, shelter out there but a lot of the time I don't bother anymore and half the places we go it's quite windy and it just flaps around and the noise off so we just leave that as it is. So around uh, central Queensland it got really cold one night and we decided that's it. The next day we went to Big W and we ended up buying an electric blanket. Um, so it's got two individual sides so Jazz and I can control each side and it runs off 240 volts so the inverter's got to be on but it draws very little power i think it's about 60 watts so we leave it on all night if we want to if it's that cold it doesn't draw much at all so that's that's been really good and what he loves that feature he normally gets under the blankets on a cold night and he won't move let's take you outside so these are the seats i was talking about with the storage underneath there's more on the other side and then under here, this goes all the way through the other side of the van. We just chuck a bunch of stuff in here, like milk and food. And there's some, there's a foam roller from Kmart, which Jazz can't live without. Uh, driving on the road, sitting a lot, her back plays up a bit and so does mine. So we use this. It's, it's very nice to get out all those knots when she won't massage me. And just some exercise equipment and things like that. So when we are at a caravan park, we've got power, there's the um, 15 amp, 240 volt inlet. This switch came on the Armour X10, I don't know what it is, someone added it, it doesn't work, but we leave it there because it looks cool. We normally put our toiletries here on the side, just easy to access, and this um, another thing from Daiso, it's just an organiser, so it keeps it all where we know it is. We've got the standard, like you can get from Kings or any of those places, BCF, just the awning. Came on the van, 2.5 by 
we only take that out normally if it's really hot and sunny um, or we stay in the same place for a, a few days at a time. It only takes a few minutes to set up. So this is the kitchen area of the Armour X10. We really like this area. There's plenty of space. Uh, we never really get in each other's way. So basically the back door just opens up on gas struts, nice and easy. The sink comes out along with the two burner gas stove and then just a workplace bench here. This um, isn't plugged in all the time. We have to do it every time we stop or need to use it. So it's just a water inlet there and then gas vein on the other side. It was a bit of a hassle at the start doing it all the time, but you get used to it and it's not that bad and it takes 10 seconds. We've got a uh, freezer here, the Dometic freezer because uh, we've got the fridge in the car. So this has been a bit of a lifesaver. If we ever go somewhere, we can stock up on um, important things like ice cream. So keep me sane, little treats. So that's really good. Two things we can't live without, of course, is a soda stream. We use this every day, along with every, along with every morning, and sometimes in the afternoon, coffee. And this runs off the uh, inverter inside. So very handy to have that. A couple things we added in here, this railing, same thing from the one inside from Bunnings, just a suction, no bolts or drilling or anything, and it's really tough. This little rack I think we got from Daiso as well, so that just keeps our pots and pans organized. Uh, when we first got the van, there was a gas oven in here, but it took up pretty much the whole space. We didn't think we'd use it, so we just ripped it out, and now we have a lot more space. You know, we've got our fruits and veggies and stuff here in the corner. It's good. And then we just got a bunch of those Kmart containers um, just to organize everything up top so we've got lots of storage up there there's loads of food it looks really messy and ugly, organized but we know where everything is so yeah. in the corner here we've got the main switchboard so it controls uh, basically things like lights water pumps the 12 volt sockets um, we've got the voltage basic readout here and a uh, water Unfortunately, this is the only one we have on the van. It would be really nice to have a couple switches by the door or inside or something just to control lights or 12 volt sockets. Um, when we first started out, it was a bit of a pain for me because I kept forgetting to turn the right switches on and I'd close the kitchen and go inside and then I'd have to come back out and do it all again. I've gotten used to it now, but it would be great to have a couple more switches. Sweet. So this just folds out from the side, quick and easy. Zip it open. And then our trusty little portaloo, which we were a little apprehensive to buy. We weren't sure how it would go, but it's been really, really good. Um, no smell, it's easy to use. I always dump it, but it's pretty quick and simple. So. Yeah, we're very happy we got that. Just a little comfort for us both. And then in here, we'll just open this up. And we've got the hot water gas system, which can get really hot. It's great. We've had some um, cold nights where we've had a shower and we just chuck it on the winter setting and the water comes out steaming. So it's very nice. Just all the soaps and stuff organized in here. And this thing probably takes me two to three minutes to set up. I just got to plug in the hose and there's a water inlet there and uh, gas, just plug it in. So that's um, quick and simple. Another little thing we bought here, I've got another toilet right now. It's one of these little bamboo platforms. So when we were beach camping and camping in WA on the dirt, we were just standing on it and it would get wet. It wasn't nice. So we just picked this up from like a $2 store somewhere. And now we can stand on that shower. It's much better. That's it. So that's the ensuite. There's the other door, as you can see, with the ladder up. We barely open this one. And I think that's it. A few reasons why we bought the Armour X10, why we like it. It's, um, it's got quite a big payload, so I think it tears at about a tonne and it's registered for two tonne. So we've got about a tonne there to work with. Um, I think fully loaded as we have it now. It's 
about a ton and a half. Um, very, very easy to tow behind the Prado. Uh, you barely know it's there and anywhere the Prado goes, this will go, no problem. Um, we love the water storage on this. So we've got, just for the two of us, a 120 litre tank underneath. Uh, and we've also got that 20 litres Jerry spare on the side of the toolbox. And then in the car, I'll show you a bit later, we've got 40 litres um, in the footwell in the back. So we've got loads of water we've never come close to running out. Quick setup. We love that this sets up nice and easy. So we can just pull up two latches, one each side, roof pops up, and we can get in and sleep if we want. If we want to shower, you know, all that probably takes us no more than 10 minutes easy. Get the kitchen out, hooked up, and the shower. So, really like that. This is actually um, an alloy shell insulated as well. So it does help with the really, really cold nights or really hot days. That's a nice feature. And we do like that we have the doors that we can lock if we're ever in a dodgy place feeling unsafe. We can lock the doors and go hide. It's not really a car tour, but these are just a few things that we both like, or maybe I like more. I'm not sure if you can see it here. There's just a 40 litre tank on the back floor, it goes over the footwell, and we've got to tap each side. So that's mainly our drinking water. When we fill that up with good drinking water, we can easily last two, three, sometimes four weeks at a time, depending on how hot it is and how much we drink. In the front, few things that I look at all the time while I'm driving is the uh, iCheck tire pressure monitoring system gauge. So these have sensors on all the wheels, including the caravan. So I can monitor the temps and pressures here, uh, which is very handy. So you know you don't have a flat or you have the right pressure. So roads like the Gibb River, really rough corrugation. Um, it's good to have that there. And then with the Prado um, and especially towing, you can get quite hot transmission at times. So I have the uh, scan gauge here, which just plugs in under the dash. <coughs> Excuse me. So it just plugs in under the dash and I can have all the readouts of the transmission oil, um, the coolant water temp and the torque converter. So make sure I'm not gonna get anything too hot and bust any seals or cause damage, which is just a uh, good peace of mind. So I think that's it, eh? So that was the tour of the Armour X10 van that we've been living in for three months. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, send them through. And we'll see you on the big lap. See ya. Bye.